Mr. Chairman, it's just one more signing. It's not that big of a deal. Well, I don't think six players in January is that bad, to be honest. Yeah, but I got a really good fee for Lewis, and, you know, it's net spend. You've got to look at net spend. I got rid of nine players also. Yeah, nine players left. The squad's actually smaller now. We're down to, like, 80-odd players. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to Season 15, Episode 7 here at HNW World. It's on the Impossible Dream. Would you believe this is Episode 200 of the series? So, you know, Loki goes on about his 157 length series. This is the one. 200 we're at today. And, uh, well, it's going to be a League Cup final, a chance for, uh, for a trophy against Lan, and then we get back into European action against Galatasaray. We host them, and last time we did that, it was 11-0. Uh, now, it's been a very, very busy January. The window has officially closed, though, now. Um, the major thing to catch you up on is Nathan Lewis, who we did end up selling deadline day. 3.7 million we got for him. I was absolutely delighted with that fee. Uh, yeah, so that, that's that's really, really good. He's gone off to Preston, and good luck to him. What really frustrates me is that despite the fact he's Northern Irish, he did, didn't count as a, as, a, as a domestically trained player. Now, I get that he never actually played in Northern Ireland, but surely if you're Northern Irish, you should count as a home player. But he didn't, so there was no point keeping him. And uh, yeah, so he's gone off 3.7 million. What a fee that is for a player we weren't going to use. Now, the signing we've got in is Paolo Alfonso here from St. Etienne. You can see there, 300,000, uh, potentially rising up a little bit. This is a left winger that I'm very, very excited about. He's 18, he, which means he will be club trained down the line. Very, very good physicals for a winner. Can dribble and cross. Good uh, determination and teamwork as well. Determination should mean that he'll obviously develop good technique. And uh, I think... Well, my, my thought process behind signing him, other than the fact it was only 300 grand for a player that looks very, very good indeed. Um, he hasn't really, he's only really played in the lower tit leagues in uh, France, but we've signed players like that before. I don't want to leave us in a situation where if McKay doesn't come back, where we're struggling for talented left wingers. So by signing him, I think between him and Sorok, we then got two good young players and he signed as a breakthrough prospect. So he'll be okay playing in the, you can see he's in the reserves right now. Uh, he'll be okay playing down there. So it's been a very, very busy January. But in the end, I think we've done a lot of good business. Let me know what you think. Now, speaking of Sorok, if we go and have a look at the medical center, uh, we may actually see uh, Alfonso before that because he has injured himself. Um, sprained knee ligaments, two to five weeks. He's already been out for about a week and a half. So that's a double blow because it's going to affect his development a little bit. But obviously, you know, he's a very... Physically, he's just an absolute monster, isn't he? He's a very good player for us as well. But by getting Alfonso in, again, it just covers us a little bit. So the injury won't actually affect us too badly because, you know, we've got, we've got that other player in to cover for McKay. So that is everything that we've done. Now, there are some games to catch you up on, as there always are. I'm just trying to see. I forget why I didn't check what games they are. First one is against, it says Glenn on my notes. It's either Glenn Avon or Glenn Torin. <laughs> will be a surprise for both of us. I think it's Glenn Avon, and I think it's in the league. Maladenov gave us the lead. Miss Kelly made it 2-0. And McKay and Fitzpatrick combined for Maladenov to get his second. Before McKay picked out Maladenov to complete a first half hat trick. McKay found Aaron McDay to make it 5-0. Before Maladenov got his fourth. And then a tap in for his fifth to make it 7-0. So we'll find out this episode if he can do it in Europe, but he can certainly do it in the league. Five goals for the new boy, Miladinov. It was a very, very good performance from us. And, well, hopes are high, aren't they? Hopes are high that this guy could be a bit of a game changer for us. And, well, we'll find out, as I said, we'll find out later this episode. Uh, next up, it was a preview of today's League Cup final. It was Lan in the league. We've really struggled against them, haven't we, lately? So let's see how we did. Bit of a change in formation for this one. See if it worked. McCracken gave us the lead midway through the first half. Lan pulled level. But McCracken restored our lead before half time. And Oliveira's first Worlders goal sealed the points. 
So a good win, if not a great win. Uh, we needed it in the league as well. You can see this is the formation we went with. Uh, the reason I did this, you, we saw we saw that they kind of have the, the defensive uh, two in midfield. So just trying to get an extra body that's up there, trying to also get control of midfield. And then because they're so narrow, I didn't think we necessarily needed the wingers because it wasn't working anyway. So we went with, with uh, wingbacks on the overlap. Kamani, you can see they're actually played a little bit further forward as a defensive midfielder. And... We just, yeah, essentially controlled the game. You can see, again, 20 shots, 5 on target. Maybe not the best conversion there. But uh, Oliveira with the first goal for the club as well. So that was good to see. Uh, next up, it was, uh, we parked league action. It was the Irish Cup. It was Warren Point Town, who we played in the League Cup earlier this season and won. Let's see if we could do a cup double over the lower league team. Up Richard gave us an early lead. And Bittner sealed the tie. So we did enough in this one without being great. As ever in this competition, it was oh, against lower league opposition in any competition. It was a little bit of uh, players that needed a bit of match sharpness. Uh, some young players we wanted to give some game time to. We, we did more than enough. 20 shots, 12 on target. You can see from the XG tracker, we dominated the game. But goals were maybe missing. Good to see Bittner get, uh, get a goal. Obviously, he's become a little bit of a forgotten man with Mladenov coming in. We do need to make a decision, though, on what we, if we want to try and get him back on loan or potentially signing permanently. He's a different sort of player to Mladenov because he is, he's more about pace, and and that's about it. You can see there is a lot of potential there, so dribbling and crossing should be able to improve as well. Depending on the fee, I'm leaning towards we do try and sign him, but obviously, yeah, I haven't completely decided that yet. So we're going to have Linfield next up in the Irish Cup, so that's going to be a good test for us. And the final game to catch you up on in the league was against uh, Coleraine. DeLauro was left unmarked to put us ahead early. And it was 2-0 when Surgeon's cross for Sims was knocked down for McKay. Before Kamani smashed in a third. So a comfortable win this one. This was the team that I'm thinking, uh, I think with the exception of Ellis, but the team that I'm thinking of, uh, of starting against Galatasaray at home. So I wanted to give them a game together, see how it worked. I'm not convinced about Sims up top. Whether we might be better off going with McCracken up there or somebody else, we'll have to have a, a bit more of a think about that. But the rest of the team seemed to work okay. Dominant win. And let's have a look and see what that does for the league table. And it's not official yet, but we are eight points clear of Linfield. Six games. We play 36 games, I think. So six games to go. Uh, we're getting there, aren't we? So that is that is good news. We've got the League Cup final today. And then, of course, Galatasaray in Europe. And speaking of Ellis, one thing I should catch you up on is that he has signed a new contract. He's happy again at the club and he signed a new contract. The reason we've had to do this is because he's Northern Irish trained and we, we know that we're, we're very short on those players. And I'm beginning to transition him from a fullback where he's not he's very limited getting forward into a centre-back that can't head the ball, basically. So he's never going to be a first-choice centre-back for us, but the fact that he's club tra uh, sorry Northern Irish trained makes him a very, very useful player for us indeed. So it's it's good news that he has signed that new deal, even if it is on a bit more money than he was on before. But uh, anyway, League Cup final time. And of course, a cup final means it is time to suit up. You can see we're expecting the same formation from them for the defensive 4-3-3, essentially. This is the team that we're sending out, and we're going with a different formation again. And, well, this is the 11. So it is Hammerstrom in goal. It is Ordonez and Vogler as the back two. We are obviously saving the better players for Europe. Ozzy Oman's going to play as a right wing back. He can do it. He's not the best defensively, but everything else about him does say very good wing back. So he's going to go on one side with Oliveira uh, going down the other side. Miss Kelly's going to sit in and protect the back two with DeLauro and Up Richard in front of him. Napoleon plays in number 10. It's Turpy and McCracken going up top. A bench of Young, Ellis, Hill, Andre Lewis, the young Brazilian, McQuaid, Moreau, and McDade. Let's see if we can get this result. All right, so we can see the team sheet here. Mark Milligan is the referee. That's what he was doing after he finished his career with the Socceroos, apparently. Uh, Nigel Gray is formerly of uh, Cape Real Academy, as did Ro uh, Rosado. Anybody else there I recognize? We have sold them quite a few players, to be fair. Uh, so it's not surprising to see one or two of them popping up in their starting 11. And it was uh, Gray's free kick, of course, that won the game for them when we played them in the league and lost. Uh, Troops on the line, everyone that you both winners comfortably play your game and you'll win all right let's go with that uh we'll point our fingers we'll say we have faith in them and hope for a similar result to the league 
So, League Cup final time, we are at Solitude, which I believe is Clif uh, Cliftonville's home ground. A uh, little bit of research, it is the oldest ground in Ireland. So, there we go. It's uh, And it looks it. <laughs> you see the photos of it. Uh, it, it. It needs a lick of paint. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves a second trophy, having won the County Antrim Shield already. League is almost in the bag. And then, of course, the one that we really want after that is the Europa League, isn't it? It's a big ask. There's some big teams in it this season, but, you know, we'll see. we're a good team now, aren't we? We're a good team. Well, someone in the comments, and again, I should have checked who it was, and there's a header from uh, Lan over the top. It might have been PH something something, uh, saying that we, that we would be a, a, you know, a mid-table top half Premier League side at this point. And I certainly think we could avoid relegation. I think we had the potential to, I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I think we have the potential to be a good a good Premier League side, sort of challenging for for Europe in the in the Premier League. But I don't know if we're quite there in terms of current ability. But it would it would be interesting to see if we could put this team in there and see exactly how we would do. Of course, we are we are definitely a good team. Oh, Turpy takes advantage of a heavy touch. We've got three on two at the back. Turpy's got McCracken making a good run. McCracken's in. Can McCracken find the finish? Oh. No, he cannot. And at half time, it is going to be nil nil in what has been an absolute snooze fest of a final. You know what? Who Lana? Lana, they're the, they're the new uh, the new Dungannon. Remember Dungannon back in the day that would just bore us to sleep. Get back out there, grab the goal that wins it for us. We'll pump our fists, say we have faith in them. Lana have offered absolutely nothing, have they? But to be fair to us, we've not really we've not really threatened them either. So we'll give this a little bit of time, and then we will have to start and think about what we can do to change things. Um, yeah, I mean, it's difficult because they're, they're not doing anything. So let's try first port a call of just changing up the way that we're doing things. Turpy's looking nervous. We do have McDade on the bench. Um, let's maybe try berating and see if that fires us up. All right, a nervous striker is just no good to us. So let's get McDade on. And do we at some point look to look to change up the way we're playing? Do we look to go to maybe a 4-4-2? I wonder. Napoleon Oliveira lunges in. Oh, dear. Oliveira gives away the penalty. And, well, the best we can hope for is that if this goes in, it well, either way it wakes us up. Hammerstrom can't make the save. And that's not worked, so we'll try something different. And what we're basically going to try and do is go for a 4-4-2. Do we want to leave Ozioma on? Let's do it. Uh, so we're going to just put you on attack. So we're going to go with uh, the subs. It's up Richard and Turpel. Well, Turpel's already come off. So Napoleon's going to play as a deep liar with McDade up top. McCracken and Moreau are going to be the wingers. Miss Kelly and DeLauro in midfield. And then we'll go with the flat back four. And hopefully... Yeah, hopefully we'll we'll actually start playing. It's 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 it's. I'll try that again <laughs> today. Uh, it is, it's the Dungannon of old, isn't it? They just bore you to sleep, and nick one somehow somewhere. All right, let's get stuck in. We'll have to go a high line, and everything else there is okay. Maybe go a little bit more direct. And just, can we get a highlight, guys? Something, anything, focus. Oh, it's been a terrible game of football. I think, oh, well. Is throwing a water bottle actually going to help us? Or is it just going to perhaps affect the performance against Galatasaray? But that was terrible. Team talk was obviously wrong. I've maybe trusted Walcott one too many times there with what he suggested. And it's Lan that lift the uh, League Cup this season. Well done, them. And suddenly I feel a little bit silly sitting here in a suit. <laughs> oh, it was a terrible game, and we, we played our part in that terrible game, didn't we? We'll thrash our arms and say that was unacceptable. 
So there we go. Lan lift the cup. It's a game that never started, isn't it? And it was that one moment of madness from Oliveira giving away the penalty. And that has, uh, well, it's cost us the trophy in the end. Guys, wait right there. It cannot be any worse than that against Galatasaray. Let's hope it is so much better. Okay, welcome back. Well, this can't be any worse than that, can it? So here we go. We're about to host Galatasaray. Let's have a look at, uh, at what we're doing here. We're expecting a 4-2-3-1 formation from them, and we're essentially matching them up almost exactly. So it's Young in goal. It's Surgeon, Octavio McGurk, and Kavanaugh is the back four. Kamani and Thompson back from his Asian Cup with Australia, where Australia actually won the Asian Cup. So excellent news, uh, and of course, Thompson, a big part of that. It is Mladenov. Can he do it in Europe? We're about to find out with Fitzpatrick and McKay. Sims is uh, going up top. We have a bench of Hammerstrom, Ordonez, Hill, Oliveira, DeLauro, McCracken, and McDade. Armstrong hasn't quite made it, but he should be back for the second leg if we were to need him. Let's hope we don't. So we can see the team sheets there. I'm going to be honest, I don't remember who played for them last time. This Hugh Han Han is a good player, though. It's a shame you can't click on names there. Uh, we, we had him on our shortlist. We were looking at signing him uh, not that long ago, to be honest. Uh, what do we want to say to this? Good opportunity to show the pundits have been right to back you up. I mean, if they were slaughtering you like they should have after the last game, then maybe don't show them they're right. But uh, let's get out there and put that to bed in Europe. And once again, no one shows up to watch us play. It's so, it's every time, I know I say it every time, it's got to be getting annoying, I apologize. Uh, but there we go. We can see they're not in the greatest form themselves, so that is, and they've come out differently to what we're expecting. So we are going to have to uh, change the marking assignments. I'll do that as soon as we get the kickoff. Hopefully there's not going to be a kickoff highlight, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that has been done. We've got an early corner with Kamani. Can we get someone on the end of this? It's a good one for McGurk, and McGurk is there. And in the fifth minute, McGurk, sixth of the season, gives us a 1-0 lead. As ever, we you know with these away, uh, sorry, home, well, home and away legs, but the home leg of the of the two-legged uh, ties, we just want to make sure we win the game and don't concede an away goal. 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. Obviously, the more goals, the better. But ideally, we won't be conceding any away goals. Unless we get to maybe seven or eight, then I'll accept one away goal. Can we get that? We can. McGurk heads it down, but it's picked up by the Galatasaray player. They're straight through the middle of us. Young is there to make the save. Let's just give them a focus ahead of defending the corner. Because what we don't want is 1-1. Ball in. It's a decent one, but it's away by McGurk at the near post. A beast at both ends. That's uh, the reason we signed him. And that ends the highlight, thankfully. All right, can we go on with this now? We've got another highlight here. Surgeon with the throw. Gets it down there for Fitzpatrick. We were using Fitzpatrick as a target man. Don't let that fool you. He is a very, very good. That's a cracking pass to Mladenov for McKay. And what about the assist for Mladenov? A wonderful crossfield ball. McKay took it in his stride. Finished it off. It's 2-0, 10 minutes in, 12 minutes in to be exact. And another look at this pass. Fitzpatrick crossfield for Mladenov. Mladenov crossfield for McKay. And the Turkish defenders are just standing there. they just a little bit dizzy, aren't they? And it's 2 0. Yeah, I was saying about Fitzpatrick, don't let the fact we're playing as a target man put you off. He's a very, very good footballer. Passing vision, flair, first touch, everything. He's a good footballer. So he'll be absolutely at home in that number 10 spot. Surgeon chips it in, but it's away. Tomo picks it up. It's there for Kamani. We've got Surgeon making a decent run forward. Is Kamani going to find him now? No, Sims dropping in. McKay gets past his man. He has a go again. But it'll just float harmlessly out for a goal kick. But we go again here. Fitzpatrick. Kamani. Ball in. Back post. Mladenov. Oh, he's good in the air as well. And he couldn't keep it down. Another highlight. Again, 2-1. Doesn't look as good, does it? It feels very comfortable right now. But if they were to get that away goal, it would be anything but. McKay's in again. Can McKay pull it back? It's blocked. To be honest, I don't think it was going to be anything anyway. It was a, wasn't the best angle. Can Kamani get that back for us? Not as of yet. We're putting some good pressure on them here. High up the pitch. Oh, Octavio dives in. Doesn't get there. Ball on the overlap. Look at that. McKay doing his defensive work. Good. Oh, it's off the post, and it is 2-1. Well, that is not what we wanted or needed. I'm not sure it has Young stuffed up here. 
ball in. It's taken a deflection. Uh, we're a little bit unlucky with the clearance. It's just sort of scrappy football, isn't it? And we've come straight back. Hopefully, we're going to get uh, that goal straight back and not completely lose our heads. Here we go with Mladenov coming forward. Mladenov has a go. Mladenov, it's on target, but it's uh, not really threatening the goalkeeper. We'll tell him to focus. And we just need to we just need to keep our focus, don't we? We've, we've been the better team. Here comes a goal kick. Can we get to that first? Octavio can't. McGurk does enough. Sims to Fitzpatrick. Sims peels off looking to make a run. Fitzpatrick. Can he pick up McKay who's made a good little run forward? McKay. Tight angle. He cuts back. Chips it in. Back post. Mladenov. Oh, Mladenov. Jesus Christ, man. That is two you've had now. And he's good in the air. Where are you here? Jumping reach. Oh, he's heading his 10. Maybe that explains it. Let's try giving them some praise. Maybe that'll settle them down a little bit. It is 2-1 though. Are we at half time? Not quite. Can we go and get this second goal? Ball in. Back post. It is towards goals off the crossbar. It was Sims at the back post. He is inches away. And a half that we've dominated. And it's 2-1. And they've got an away goal in there as well. Uh, fingers pointed. Don't get complacent, boys. Fist pumping. Say we have faith. And we need another goal or two in this second half, don't we? We don't want to be going there at 2-1. Although you would back us to score against them. We don't want to leave ourselves too much to do. Let's give them some praise. Try and be positive here. We've got a free kick to defend. Our weakness, of course. Sims, this guy, please. This guy, please. Sims, that guy. It's 2-2. Sims is pissing me off. You're coming off. Let's get me. Uh, let's get McCracken on. Unbelievable. And now it is nervy, isn't it? It's certainly not 11-0. We fired them up. I mean, we've been the better team. If this was to happen, you know, in in Turkey, if we, you know, you sort of had the same sort of dominance or same sort of uh, flow of play again, you'd you'd think we'd score. McCracken's in. McCracken can't quite get there. Octavio gets it forward for McKay. Come on. Ball in. Decent. Back post. Mladenov. He can't quite get to it. Keeps it in, though, for Kavna. It's there for Thompson. Back to Kavna. Can he get a cross in now? He does. It's Fitzpatrick, and Fitzpatrick is just over the bar. And, of course, the other thing is uh, for the second leg, Armstrong will be back. Kamani with a corner. It's Oh, it's McGurk again. It's a little bit of an error in there by the goalkeeper. But McGurk, so many times, has got the goals for us in Europe. And he's done that again. And it's 3-2. We've retaken the lead. But, if, yeah, it's not the best. Fitzpatrick maybe just uh, did enough in there to distract him as well. What we can't undo, of course, is the away goals. But if we can take a lead to Turkey, well, that's going to be half the battle, isn't it? Octavio now comes forward. Gets it wide for Sur uh, Surgeon. McKay's making a decent run, but Surgeon keeps the ball. Can he get the cross in now? He can. It's back post. We can't win it. Kavno will pick it up, though. It's there for Kamani. Octavio again. Kamani. Crossfield pass. Mladenov. Thompson to Kavna. Kavna with some space. Kavna gets the cross in. It's cleared away again. And this time it's picked up by Galatasaray. Can Thompson win it back? Not quite. Ball forward. Is he in? Kavna has let him go. Oh dear, don't do it. Oh, Kavna. And is it going to be 3-3? Can Young save our bacon here? Han who Han. Remember when I wanted to sign you, mate? Oh, rate you. Please miss. Oh, three away goals. It is not going to plan. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to lower the tempo. We're going to look for the overlaps. Possibly should have been doing that from the start. We've not had it. We've not played well today, though, in either game. It's been rash penalties, rash or rash challenges for penalties. Let's try a berating. That's overwhelmed them. And, well, we've got another highlight. McKay has it. 
It's there for Surgent. He goes back for Octavio. For Thompson. It's there for Mladenov. Back for Thompson. There's a good ball for Kavnar. Can he make up for his penalty? It's a good ball across. It's blocked away. Can Kavnar win that back? No. And here they come again. They're just picking us off on the break a little bit. It's a good tackle from McGurk. Is it going to... No, it is going to go out. And that is going to end the highlight. Focus, boys. Come on. We're in stoppage time. Is there going to be a late winner for us? What we don't want is a late loser. McKay. Oh, it's driven across goal. But again, it's cleared away. McGurk is there to win it. Thompson picks it up for Kavna, for Fitzpatrick. Mladenov. Kavna gets forward again. His cross is blocked. Kavna's not had a great game, has he? Oh, dear. Don't you dare do it. Octavio with a hell of a block. And Kavna doesn't give away a penalty this time. I mean, we've absolutely dominated the game, and it's finished 3-3. I would back us. If that game happens again, it doesn't finish 3-3, does it? We've got a win, though, in Turkey. I'm not happy with that, guys. It was terrible. So goals galore as Welders and Galatasaray draw. It wasn't good, was it? It really wasn't. It's not. I say we would win that game again, but we did get two goals at least from a set piece. Who was the third goal? I can't remember what happened with the third goal. But guys, that will do it for today. We do have uh, we do have Linfield coming up next in the league, and then the second leg against Galatasaray. That will be next episode. If you've enjoyed that for some reason, it wasn't good football from us. Let's hope we've got that out of our system. Of course, we're going to need to be much, much better in, in Turkey, aren't we? So like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time as we look to go through in the second leg. Surely we're not going to fall out to Galatasaray. Take care.